House of Representatives want establishment of military bases in some parts of Kebi state to curb incessant attacks by bandits, citing the latest security breach during which many local volunteers were killed. The issue raised by Representative Tonko Sununu as a matter of urgent public importance brought to the fore incidents in the last couple of months where bandits attack helpless communities to kill, kidnap and rustle cattle. The report. The attacks in some part of Kebi State, according to the lawmaker, have led to humanitarian crisis and untold hardship in the southern senatorial district. The House is worried that the current attack has left many families in disarray and economic activities grounded. The House therefore urged for deployment of more troops and equipment to eliminate the criminals and also provide relief materials to those affected by the attacks. Concerned that if no urgent uh, rem remedial and Deterrent action is taken to arrest the incensed attack in Kebi South. It has the capacity to make the area ungovernable, raising the level of poverty as many social services are already affected. Increased level of illiteracy of the areas due to poor school attendance and disorganized academic calendar. Meanwhile, the minority leader Ndudie Lumelu raised a motion of a 22-year-old young girl, Olu Abamishe Ayomola, recently murdered in cold blood in Lagos State. The lawmaker is worried that many of the incessant attacks are underreported in view of the stigma attached to such incidents and molestation when such reports are made. Further aware that Oluwa Bamiche was last seen on 26th of February 2022 after boarding a BRT bus number 240257 at about 7pm around Chevron bus stop. The stop that the allegation that the BRT driver earlier confessed of having carnal knowledge of late Mrs. Late Miss Bamiche before killing her and harvesting some of her vital organs only for the story to change after some influential Nigerians perceived to have intervened on his behalf. The House therefore resolved to urge the federal government through the Nigerian Police and National Security and Intelligence to fast-track investigation and ensure the killers of Oluwa Bamishi Ayomola are brought to justice.